Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again within the Cursed Estate and just looking to level up some of our last remaining level 3s. Leveling up our level 4s up to level 5 ready for our next missions. It's going to be quite the task and it's going to take probably quite a bit of time. But we will get there eventually and then we'll move on to our next bosses. But for now we step into the Warrens uh, because it is unfortunately the only level 3 mission. Even though it's only short. We're stepping in with a rather unorthodox team that i'm a little worried about so we're going with healer sisters which is eh but she's our only level three healer and i've got her with the restoration bonus i'm hoping that she does well and then we've got uh, angela here with her marking ability she's got the jar of slime and the uh, husband's heart for the extra prot i'm really hoping that these two in combination will mean she can sustain herself pretty much then we've got prisoner 10 here with the straight up damage build hoping to kill things quickly um and then we've also got sophia in the back She's got the Cherry's Keepsake for some pro, a um, little bit of stress relief. Kills are going to relieve stress. And also, she's got the Necromancer Scrolls for that Despot Resist, buffing the party's maximum HP, debuffing target's accuracy, and summoning walking corpses. All of which I think are really going to help out. Uh, so, hopefully, we can uh, get something going with that. But like I said, it's a rather unorthodox team, so we might need to leave early if things don't quite go our way. But either way, let's uh, let's head into the mission now. We've got everyone ready. The um, We have a Slayer Trinket. We still don't have a Slayer class, actually. It's surprising. Like I said, it's only a short mission. We'll probably do two here. And we could even come across a Collector, so we've got to be wary of that as well. I'm going to bring extra food here um, just because... I want to be able to heal people up via food if we can heal them up via anything else. And we'll go with 15 torches. I think that should be good. Uh, let's embark. We do have a diary into here from TEA. This is for Renault at Crusader. And he says, I was sitting at the shore of the docks. Dismas was with me. We had both come so far since first meeting years ago. And sometimes I forget that I owe my life and everything I've accomplished here so far to that man. First saving me from the wolves that attacked me and then fighting alongside me along um, against those bandits. We don't talk very often, but we have a nice chat. We had a nice chat by the shore when suddenly the water started rising and fast. We ran from the rising waters. It enveloped the docks and a few workers. The water lashing out with its tendrils and grabbing them and pulling them into the sea. Dismas easily made it away, but I fell behind and the water was grabbing me. While I was under, I saw something reaching towards me. It looked like it was a young woman, a pale white emanating from her, illuminating the area. She looked at me with pleading eyes and then Dismas pulled me out for the water and we fled to the hamlet. That's another time that he's likely saved my life. That's awesome. I love that. I'm loving the fact that we're having people reconnecting everything. But yeah, I'm hoping the fact that, that uh, we have a self-heal here on Prisoner, um, and you technically have a self-heal here with Jarrah Slime, and then um, you can provide curing Blight and Bleed uh, and blocks, and also we have the actual heal here as well. I'm hoping that that'll actually do as well. Um, and be pretty decent for the rest of this uh, mission here. One moment. Okay, let's let's head on in, shall we? Let's move on in and see what we can uh, see what we can do. So this is only a short mission, as you can see. We haven't actually wow, we haven't actually been on a short mission in a really long time. That is insanely short. Uh, we do have a good trap to sign here. Eighty percent, we cost fail it straight away. Luckily, not too much damage dealt. In fact, we can probably just do this like we have no need for this much food apart from for healing and we're about to get a little more here even so but yeah i, I can't remember the last time we did a, a short mission Ooh, finally we've been waiting for that for so long the unholy slayer's ring i'm so happy to have that that is going to be super useful for later on um yeah we've been we've been waiting a really long time to get that um we just need the human ring now i think the human one's the only one we don't have so because this guy has extra damage against beast, we'll probably be going for that. Um, and we'll be activating we'll be activating repost on her here. <coughs> Excuse me. She's gonna be taking on a lot of stress, but she does have the bugle to re relieve 50% stress, which should hopefully help out. Um yeah, let's do this straight off the bat. It's gonna lower all of that accuracy and buff our stress relief here. Uh condemn. <coughs> we can go with for a pull. I think we'll probably go for that, you know. Let's condemn you. Pulls you forward a little bit. One moment. I had to cough there. Right. Uh, okay, we're going to try and take him out. Nice. Insta hit on him. 
That's exactly what I wanted. The hook it where it hurts is probably going to hurt because it can crit for quite high numbers. Uh, we're really hoping it doesn't. Nice dodges there. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll see how we go here. So we do have this here, which is great. Blight and stun. The stun's the main part of this that we really care about, but the blight is also really nice. Run for the old gods. Probably not going to bleed us here because I think Hollow Knight has really had bleed resist because he doesn't really have flesh. So that's kind of nice. Um, and now we're going to start healing people up. This is also a pretty big stress reliever on whoever we're using it on. I think it stress heals for like 11 or something crazy like that. Yeah, stress heal for 11. So that's going to be... It's going to it's essentially keep stress off of us pretty easily. I'm going to go for you. We critted him and destroyed him. But I went for him specifically because he was beast and it would give us more damage against him. We'll go for you. Another crit. Okay, this is going well. Got to remember as well, these guys have this lowered accuracy. Probably always going to start off with that because the lowered accuracy really helps out, as you can see there. Got to dodge off of that. Um, we'll go for another one of these. And then you're bleeding as well. And you're down. Awesome. And we'll try and condemn this last one. Yeah, I was going to say, we're probably going to see a bleeding coming here. In fact, we can heal that bleed off of us. I'm, I'm going to heal up here. Uh, we're going to need to do some stress relieving at some point, but we shouldn't have to worry about it too much. I do realize that as these sisters clash, you're meant to switch constantly to lower the amount of stress you take. But generally, with this massively reduced stress, I can actually kind of stop that from being necessary. There you go. Take you out. Yeah, I can actually stop that from being wholly necessary so we might not need to do that it depends this is only a short mission it just just depends on really how uh, how much stress we end up taking on and what enemies we face enemies like this are surely a pain hopefully the war cry here can do something good for us um hmm do we have is there any skills that she has that self stress reliefs i don't think there is is there um so at the minute we've got minus and warrior um your blight resist is really high. Okay, so there's not much point in doing that. Let's just get a repurse going then. Oh, that, that does stress relieve us. Okay. Oh, no, that, that was that was changing over. What am I on about? Um, I don't want to do either of them. <laughs> that was really dumb. I pressed the wrong thing. Oh, I'm going to have to use one of these now, and I really don't want to, because it's going to move us around, and I really don't want to move around. I guess I just go with this. Moving us back doesn't really matter for, for us too much, but that was not not the smartest play I've ever made, gotta be honest. Um, right, let's condemn you. Course doesn't do too much damage, and even resist the move as well, which is slightly annoying. Um, let's mark you. Prepare for later. This guy's gonna hurt us if we don't kill him fast, so we gotta be we gotta be on it with this dude. In fact, I'm gonna do this and hopefully debuff him. Nice. Uh, debuffs his speed uh, from that other move uh, from Angela and debuffing his accuracy. The, the accuracy is the big thing we need to debuff, really. We are taking quite a lot of blight here, but luckily there's the dodge. Okay, so we are marked as prey. Lower accuracy and all that. Um, switch over again. See, look, we can't we can't do that from there, so we're gonna have to move. That's that was really dumb of me. I I basically burned myself there. Um, I'm gonna do this. Gives her a block and just cures off that bleed. We don't want to take too much damage here. Uh, I know we have restoration on us, so that's fine. Uh, still though. Um, so we can go with this. I think I'm gonna go with this and just. I was gonna say get a ton of damage. No, no, no. She is gonna. Uh, I was gonna say she's gonna get hit really hard, but maybe not. Um, I'm gonna go for this. I know that that hits random target, but we need to take out the ones in the back, anyways. I'm a little worried, honestly. This is this this combat has not gone the way I wanted it to in the slightest. Uh, we can pray. We've got that on two different members of our team now, which is getting a little worrisome. I really hope that Angela can hit what she needs to. That's a huge crit for us. Angela should be able to finish this off as long as she hits her target. Uh, right. We need some healing here. I think we're going to put it on you. Yeah, see, stress is staying down more than enough. Good thing about restoration as well is it's going to hit real hard as soon as it's our turn. Come on, please hit. Okay, that wasn't as quite as good as I thought it'd be, but it was still good, really. Mm. You had to not kill with the Kadem, didn't you? That's going to hurt. We might die. Angela might be dead here because... Condemn just couldn't quite get the kill. 
Th see, the thing is, this is going to be nice, but it's not going to do anything for her, for her for this turn. It depends which applies first, Restoration or Blight, and I'm pretty sure the Blight will apply first. I'm fairly sure it will. Um, I, I can't believe... How much damage does it do? I can't believe that that didn't work out. Also, I mean, we could just get hit by one of these dudes right now. Uh, I think we do this. I... Okay, that does save her. Good. That applies to the block. My god. That was not good. Oh, stop missing, Angela. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh, my god. They resisted everything there. Okay, I got rid of the body at least, but yeah, they, they did just resist literally everything. I I can't believe Condemno did two damage. Um, We need to start killing stuff here. We can heal us up in a sec. Just leave her alone. We got that block, but she's going to get blighted. And she took a disease as well. Great stuff. Did like fuck all damage there. Should heal herself though. That's nice. That makes up for that at least. Um, we'll do that. She is taking on the stress a little more than I'd like. There we go. Back up to full. Almost. And there's that kill. That was that was scary. Um, I really expected condemned to get the kill there. How much of a damage down is it? I mean, it's uh, minus sixty six. I can kind of get that with the debuffs it gives us and everything. Mm. Not great. Such are but everyone's everyone's pretty much healed up now. Um, pretty much. That was just a little scary. And that could happen again and again and again. This I'm really worried about. We could take on some insane amounts of stress here. And although we do have some stress healing in Sophia... Oh my god, that's going to hurt. Although we do have some stress healing on Sophia, that's really not what I want to use her for. I think she's she's got a lot better uses. Especially considering if they're... Over 50% HP, it only does half anyways. Um, oh, wait. Okay, I'm a moron. I did not realize I could do that on myself. That makes that so much better. I can just stress heal myself. I thought I could only apply it to other people. Okay, Angela. You're, a you're absolutely and unequivocally letting down the team right now. Like, my god. You've missed so many of your attacks so far. People are going to think you don't do anything. You gotta up your game, Angela. You gotta, gotta start swinging where it hurts. You gotta start swinging where it hurts. And you're const- also- yeah, that's, that's another thing i got to say. You've always got blight on you. Get rid of that blight, woman. I don't really care who it hits here. Hit you for quite, for quite a bit. Good old prisoner getting the crits. There's that's the sort of damage we need. Could have done with one more point there, but that works. That works. Confusion, nerves, and panic. Ow. <laughs> I had a feeling. You always know when they've got one HP left that they're going to crit. I'm gonna do this. And then they, now you hit for 20. Now you hit for 20. Great. Right, let's open that. Trapped. Thank God I resisted that Blight because I just cured my Blight off of me. If I'd have cured my Blight off of me, then it immediately got more Blight. That would have been so annoying. Two. Two 80% chances in a row. And we failed them. This team is very unlucky right now, I have to say. It's not really going their way, is it? I wasn't expecting such a... Uh, such an annoying... Curious is the trap maker's art. His efficacy on... What? <laughs> Three 80 percents in a row. Three 80 percents in a row. How do you fit... <sighs> I get that it's logistically possible, but that's actually pretty darn unlikely for three eighty percent to fail in a row. Right, you bet. I, I, I'm. You better hit this one, unless I've misread and she's actually got like forty percent or something crazy. Um, you can have that. Right, eighty percent. 
Oh my god, she's done it. <laughs> wow. Unexpected. This should level all of these guys up, by the way. I know this is only a short mission, but there was really not much XP left on these guys. And of course, we get a Skull Tosser right at the end. Um, We definitely need to de-stress ourselves here. Should be okay. Right, let's um, let's condemn you and finish you off. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. I, I probably should have marked him, but again, Angela, your accuracy is abysmal. That's a skull toss with the stun. That's bad because that's our only healer. That's another skull toss. Got two in a row. Good, good. Two in a row. Um, slash you. Get good damage. That's okay. At least you got the heals going. Do you know what? Let's mark you. Let's get you ready for, for a big hit. Um, and then do that. Hopefully get a stun. No stun. We did get the blight. And it gets rid of the body as well, which definitely helps. There's the bleed. Um... I'm just, I'm just going to play on the stress relief at the minute because everyone's at full HP apart from Sophia, but unless he gets a really big crit, she's, she should be fine. Howl. Hey, nice dodge, people. Nice dodge. There's a big hit, and he's dead. What's your stress relief? Hey, we even get another stress relief before this all, is all over. We're at 57 stress. It's still quite a lot, but... What are you going to do? What are you going to do? The cursed champion falls. We could still have a battle after this door, by the way. I didn't, I didn't mention the fact that that's a possibility. Yeah, there is. These, these, these things can, can, they get pretty crazy. They get pretty crazy. So, hmm. I'm going to bramble here. I'm not going to worry about her stress. She's fine. Prepare the slaughter. Disease resist. Okay. That's bad because of this. I expected another disease to come in right there and then, but it didn't. I didn't actually check. What was it? Minus 50 stun resist. That's not terrible. Um, right. Let's condemn you. I'm going to go for that. That's exactly who I wanted to hit. Burnbreaker. Thank God that missed. Um, yeah, and let's get, let's get that set up on you. We want that big damage. Only thing is, he's got a lot of prop. We don't have any way to get through that right now. Um, everyone's doing fine apart from you, so let's heal you up. Okay. Yeah, glad I did that. Because that... Luckily, it didn't hurt, but that's not good. We resisted the disease there, luckily. Right. Please kill this guy. Oh, we can't. We literally can't. That's really annoying. Um. Hmm. I'm still gonna hit him. Oh, we did kill him. There we go. We get a walking corpse. Nice. That's just a little bit of extra damage to us, and we can blow him up whenever the heck we want as well. This guy's going to be basically chill, unfortunately. Nice hits, uh, because he's protected. In fact... Hmm... We might be softlocked. <laughs> I just realised that, he, that, that this, this pig is guarded by the thing I turned into a walking corpse. And it's got no duration on it. And I th that enemy doesn't exist anymore. Hmm, be some problems there. I mean, let's see what happens. Okay, we can still hit it. That's fine. I'm just gonna explode this corpse. Yeah, it gets blight on both of those. Not gonna kill, but yeah. Unfortunately, that, that, that is just a visual bug. I say, I say unfortunately, M more like fortunately, we can still kill the thing. This thing is gonna hurt us in a moment. Uh, oh no, we can clear stealth. No, it's not. I was going to say because it's got that massive bonus to accuracy and such, but doesn't matter. Oh, hello, corps. Goodbye, corps. <laughs> uh, I don't think this does anything for us in terms of loot, but 
No, it doesn't. Um, ah, limp quirk removed. Didn't know it did that. Okay, cool. That was a nice little venture out, and this should level everyone up, I'd hope. Indeed, some experiments should have never happened. Yes. Okay, obsessed with self-worship. That is amazing. <laughs> extra extra bleed and blight duration applied is really, really good. We're going to need to get some rid of some diseases off of Sophia. Not Sophia, sorry. Angela. An eternity of futile struggle. Idle Ocean Bonds gain plus one resolve. Awesome. Right, uh, so let's quickly do this. Um, we need to go and remove all of our trinkets. Then we need to quickly put you in the penance hall and we need to go and give angela some disease removal we want to get rid of that one first uh right let's check if we got anyone new entering uh forsaken a seraph that we just leveled up barbarian nah i think everyone there's fine still not getting any new classes in really unfortunately um oh damn there was something I was meant to do previously and I completely forgot. I apologize. Right, I need to do some changing around here. Um you can go. Those without the stomach for this place must move on. Cool. Right. We'll bring him on. Uh yeah, there was a butcher in here and I was meant to pick him up and I forgot to. Damn, that's really annoying. I was meant to do that. <sighs> Whoopsie. Right, uh, let's check on trinkets, see if there's anything we need. Blackguard, um, bypass stealth, less accuracy. That's, that's, that's pretty good. I mean, the less accuracy is annoying and the less virtue chance is annoying, but that's mm, pretty good. Um, that's also pretty good. Arbalist, extra damage, slayer, butcher, Plus 4 speed, plus 10 prot, plus 30 move resist. Okay, so we lose a bit of prot, but we gain speed and prot on the first turn. I don't really think we need that. Um, okay, that, that's good for now. Um, let's go and have a look at what we want to do for our next mission, because we can definitely fit another one in here. Um, probably this wheeled one here. It's a long adventure, level 3. Um, interesting. Oh, we, oh, we've got a medium... Veteran one. We'll probably go for the medium one in the ruins here. We've got thing from the stars, so we definitely want to bring a certain a certain level of people. So let's uh, quickly throw you guys out. Let's have a little look see here, shall we, sir? Hmm. Who do we bring along? I think we bring Oracle here. Oracle's going to be great. Uh, if we can pair him with some stuns, we're going to have to bring out some level fours here. So I think we bring Oracle. Let's have a look. Um, I gotta just prepare this right. Hmm. Hmm. Right. That's entirely necessary. The thing is, that's armor piercing. So I kind of do want to keep that. Uh, let's let's play around him in position three, shall we? So we'll put Oracle position three. And we go that, that. Um, that. Because it's going to give minus four stress per 20 torchlight. Clear horror. Um, and then I guess we go with this as well. To guard clear stun. It does move you forward one, which isn't great, but... That could, mainly using these two skills, that could work out. Right, so we get, we'll go with there. I think we go with Kuro here um, for for big stuns. So we have him stunning in the back line here, which is going to mean that Oracle can get more crits, deal more damage, I hope. Uh, then maybe we go with this, Kaboom. Hmm... Is that really going to be what's best for us, though? I think we really need some another person that uh, that chews through. That chews through uh, armor here. 
we get another person with armor piercing. I mean, we could bring Henry. He's got armor piercing, and uh, he is insane. The only problem with Henry, of course, is he's very, very varied um, range of damage, and the fact that he is, of course, observed, uh, which is somewhat problematic. Hmm. He seems like one of the better options to me right now, though. And he hasn't been out in a little while either, which makes me more tempted to go for him. Ooh. So, I think we bring out Dai here. Um, even though he doesn't have that extra armor piercing damage, he does have an insane amount of damage versus stunned. Likewise does Oracle, which I think is going to work out really nicely. Um, and then healing wise, do we have any healers that have armor piercing? I, I somehow doubt it. I somehow doubt it. Who, what lower level healers do we have here? We have Zai, um, and we have Will June. Oh, Will, Will June could go into the ruins. Will June could go into the ruins, I think. Hmm. This is... This is risky. Because the thing is, the thing from the stars could destroy us here. Uh, I think, though, that this is the group we take. <gasps> Ooh. No, 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 it's not. We bring Enigma. Unknown. Because he has armor piercing on his mystical bolt. While his damage isn't high, any armor piercing against the thing from the stars is insane. Um, so... And it, it, his healing isn't the best, but I think if we buff it up a bit, let's let's have a look to see. So, in terms of his skills, he doesn't have any specific, particular skills we want here. So let's go with that. And the obvious... Where's the other one? Wait, what? I've lost a trinket. Oh, no, I haven't. It's here. <laughs> I always do that. Right. Oracle, I want to boost your crit. So you got, you're going to go plus five crit, minus one speed, and then anything else that boosts your crit. That doesn't really help because we need to stun it. So first round crit doesn't really matter to us. Um, We could just go with 25 damage versus unholy, although that wouldn't apply to the thing from the stars. Uh, plus four crit there. Hmm. That's a difficult one. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm going to go for that. I'm going to go full on crit with him. Then, Oracle, you can go... I think definitely we want this, because Blight is really good against Ting from the Stars, and it's just good in general. Um. Then we go with... Speed and crit, I think. Because the speed is going to be really nice. We're getting things stunned early. Then Dai. I think Dai has a, has a particular trinket. He does. There you go. This is really, really good. 10 accuracy. 10. 10 crit. 10 scouting. 10% chance monster surprised. What the hell? That's insanely good. He does have this, though. Plus 20 stress versus humans, and extra stress versus humans, and minus accuracy versus unholy. The accuracy here should offset that, though. But that's that's going to be insane. Um, and then I think we just flat out up his damage uh, with the, the bracer here that we just brought out previously. And he should be pretty, pretty strong now. Um, and I think that's everyone set up and ready to go. This this should be a pretty good adventure out. Let's uh, let's plan for this one. Get ready to go. Got the, got, got to do the corrupted altars. Well, for abomination, that's kind of interesting. And this is a pretty odd uh, like odd group, I'd say. Oh, that was close. That was close. He can only heal from positions two and three. Hmm. That complicates things a lot. That complicates things a lot on a lot. I think we're going to have to swap back to Will June. I really wanted to bring you out because he had that armor piercing. But 
Will June, how does he have an accuracy mod base of 14? What the hell? Um, I think Will June's going to be just too good not to bring. Yeah. We're just going to have to kind of trust it that this will work. I think we want to go with this one, don't we? Is it marks and everything? Right, this is a risky one, but let's let's jump on in. We also should check what disease you have. Ah, uh, virtue chance, that's kind of fine, to be honest. Take all the food we can take. We take five shovels, just five everything. We haven't fought the thing from the start in a really long time, but that just makes me think that we're going to find it even more likely. Uh, so I think, this, I think this group's pretty much ready to go now. Um, let's embark, and we do have another diary entry here, this one's written by me, and this one's for David at Ironclad, and he is, um, talking about becoming the prey of Chasey, the, uh, succubus, and he says, Mmm, the way she looks at me, the glances across the tavern bar, I know what she is, but yet I still not can resist the lure of that bewitchingly beautiful temptress. I'm looking forward to figuring out what goes on between those two soon. It's gonna be mighty interesting. I think Dai here is gonna just absolutely annihilate anything that that comes in front of him pretty much he's going to be critting like crazy and just destroying things uh yeah we'll go with that also we should we should be most of the time being able to use cura first um or not how high is your speed five eight <laughs> Okay, he, he just got lucky that time. So, this can do 7 to 14. Okay, so we just do this for now, I think. That's super cool animation. I love that. And here we just go with that. Ah, oh, I, I kind of thought that was party wide for a moment there. I'm going to kill you immediately. Taking a bit of bleed here. That's fine. Not too problematic. See if we can stun you. We did indeed stun him. Nice. Okay, it was his turn immediately, so that stun did almost nothing. Uh, I am going to get rid of that bleed. Do you know what? Stun you again. Immediately. You're not having another turn, dude. Can you can you, can you leave my, my boy alone? Let's get a heal on him. I love the fact that this also gives us that dodge buff as well. And there you go. Almost guaranteed crits with that. And this this should be a very, very good way of getting kills. Um, I'm just going to take the busts. I don't really use those things too much, so I'll take the busts. Right, so what's our quest here? It's just to get rid of those altar things, isn't it? Right, again, we want to take get rid of the observed thing. Um, yeah, this is perfect, actually. This is a really good first turn. Stunning two very annoying enemies. Taking out one immediately. And then we should be able to take out you. We should be able to take out you, but unfortunately that happened. Go with the damage and accuracy here. Nice dodge, Dai. Nice dodge, Kura. <laughs> Um, I'm still going to do this again because it can stun the back line. It stuns you again anyways. Awesome. We just keep buffing you up with that 28% damage. Stop both of you from stressing us out. Honestly, they won't leave my boy Kira alone. 38 crit. Wow. Absolutely decimated. You're right. We are going to take some stress here. That's okay. We can deal with some stress. We don't really have great stress relief, which is the problem. Horror. Yeah. That's that's pretty bad, actually. That's like 12. You can go down. Nice. Does... I didn't realize that this only works on melee hits, so that might not have been the best choice, but it, it'll work if we come across the uh, the big man himself. Oh, we found a secret room. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, wait a minute. Curia, 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 Curia. 
Quest location, Curia, Curia. Okay, so we are going to get some rooms from this. Yeah, that's That stress was not good. Uh, I am actually going to get rid of that. I don't want that until camp. Do you? Because I don't. The cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Right. Cleanse one of those. And then we've got our secret room here. Uh, yep, go with that. We need to find ourselves a lovely little area to get rid of some stress. One of the um, confession booths would be great right about now. I know that they hang around. Spiders could be problematic. We're getting surprises a lot because of Dai's trinket, which is really nice. Um, yep. Chain gang is too good. It's too damn good. I'm hoping for just crits so we can heal off some of that stress, but it ain't happening yet. Be gone, gone thought. Nice hit. And this should be a very easy bit of combat for us here. Nice. Almost killed it in a single hit there. Not quite. That is pretty big damage though. 16. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, wait a minute. Missed the secret room. Do you know what? Honestly, that's fine. I'd rather get the secret room on the way back round anyways. Because we're going to be able to get rid of... Well, make more space by getting rid of our quest items. Uh, 80, 65, 70, 70. So you're going to be going for this anyways. Luckily, the 80% actually worked for us this time around. I'm sure it is. Right, and we go. No battle this time either. We don't have to go there. It didn't scout this way, unfortunately. And we did get a battle on the way back. Of course we did. I should I should be, be more prepared for the thing from the stars when that happens. Honestly, I really should. Um, yep, do that. Yes, it stunned exactly the one I wanted it to. Hey, entered stealth. Wasn't expecting that. Let's keep this going. We are going to get some goblets thrown at us at the moment, I think. Um, which is annoying but it's what we've got to deal with i think we just go for this for the big damage spike we try and take you out in a single hit didn't quite get you but that does manage your speed off and in comes the goblets this is gonna sting the stress is gonna pile up i think we'd have minus five crit here it's gonna hurt nice dodge though nice one die you absolute beast Your fists will never be beaten. I'm just going to straight up go for a stun on you to clear that guard. But, in comes the double goblet, which is probably going to push us over the boundary. It's been a while since we've got this stress. There you go. I knew it was coming. You've got to expect the double goblet. He's taking some damage as well. Unfortunately, we just don't have any way to cure off this, this uh, amount of damage, though. I will go for that. Because they're just so far in the back as well. It, we're going to get... An, he's going to get a stress check here. Almost definitely. Because we can't get to them at the minute. You haven't had a turn yet, so let's pull you forward. And smack you about a bit. Not going to bleed him, but it does do good damage. Goblet again, and this will cure off his stun. I think it's his turn next, at least. Oh, no, it's not. Awesome. No crit, but we got the kill anyways. Hmm. We don't have anything that pulls, do we? Damn, we don't. Oh, no, we do. We do. Great. Boom. The wombo combo there. Okay, stress. I was expecting a stress check there. It did get really high, but... We, we got through it. Um, keep heading on this way. While it's unlikely to be the right way, I'm going to go this way and just check it out. There's a, there's a possibility, there's a chance that we could go this way and get ourselves... Um, we definitely want that. It's going to be great. Uh, we could get the mission finished and over with just from this top area, which would be very fantastic. 
damaged. Mainly because it clears out our inventory space. I'd probably keep adventuring. I kind of do want to fight the thing from the stars, as dangerous as it is. Just because of how lucrative the rewards are. Damn. Didn't get the scout we wanted there. Find no clemency in this place. Yeah, I didn't think so. Right. Head on back. More hunger checks. Wow, we're going for our food quite quickly here. Um, probably when I get back to, like, here... I'll, uh, I'll camp up, and that could be quite good. I think that could be quite nice. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. And we'll check into our secret room here. Hope for a, a head trinket. It's really what I'm hoping for, but money would also work. Yep, money works. It's a little upsetting when you don't get a head trinket, but... What can you do? We've still got quite a few to get, actually. We're, mi we're missing the main one, the, the one that gives 25% extra healing. That's, like, the best head, and we still don't have it. And there's another one that gives 25% damage that we don't have either, Dismas head. So there's two really key ones that we still don't have. Wow, it is forcing us to chuck down that food. Right, let's get, let's get ready and prepare, because this battle here could be... It could be against the thing from the stars. It is plausible. You never know what you're going to come up against. Okay. Still pretty bad combat. We're getting pretty much a surprise every single time at the moment, which is really, really good. Uh, I'm going to go for a, a pull on you. Um, do you know what? Oracle. Your one job is to hit things that are stunned. How do you miss something that cannot move? It's your one job, my dude. Really. And then coming in clutch. Oh. Yeah, there's the stress check coming in. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, fearful. Unfortunate. Fear and frailty finally claim their due. Spear thrust is going to hurt a little bit. Got a guard on there. Should be able to break that off you pretty easily. Indeed we did. You got 1 HP. You're dying to the bleed. Good. That's good as well because it'll move the temp... The, the uh, goblet woman closer. So we'll finish you off. No, we won't. I really thought that, that the Oracle would hit him big there, but... Oracle just doesn't want to play ball right now. Really does not want to play ball at all. Oh my god. This is a this is a battle I wasn't expecting to be as annoying and tough as it is. Really? Really? At least she's spreading the stress evenly. Thing is, the thing from the start applies a lot of stress. It's gonna hurt. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Right. Spear thrust. That, that spear thrust does hurt a lot as well, so we've got to be worry, worry full of that too. Oh, you crit now, and everyone just keeps missing. Nice bit of stress relief there, at least. I can't be too mad about that. And then you should be dead by Dai's hand. Impale. Everyone taking on that stress. Nice. Yeah, now I'm fearful. Right. Let's camp up. Right. Do we even have prevent nighttime ambush? I didn't even check. God damn it. Oh, we do. Okay. Um, yeah, that's really good, actually. We'll definitely do that. Uh, then we want... Um, party. So, position 4 gets dodge. 3 gets accuracy. That's pretty good, too, to be honest. Um, I think we go with... I think we go with this. As a party-wide buff, and then we go with that. With a flat damage. And then we just... 
Yeah. We just rest now. Unfortunately, couldn't get rid of the stress we wanted to. The light. The promise of safety. But that's how it's got to be sometimes, right? I, I, I feel like Kira is going to end up suffering some major, major trauma. Ooh, what the... Damn, I, I was just about to say, what the hell's that? And I've, rem I've just remembered what this is. We need to be very, very careful. Unfortunately, we didn't get the party surprise on this one. This thing gets two actions. It is insane. It deals so much damage. We need to hit it twice before it gets a chance to go. Otherwise, we're going to be... We're going to be having some problems. Okay, there you go. It's lost both its actions now. In fact, I'm just going to go straight for the kill. It's that dangerous. It's that dangerous. That that I, I got against one of those things before, and it crit hit me for like 40. It just annihilated. Luckily, no one died, but it did insane damage. There's going to be a lot of stress coming here, by the way. Knife in the dark, that was great. No goblet. Horror coming up. Oh my god, beautiful. Wasn't expecting to be able to dodge the horror here, but... I'm so glad it did. Oracle, you are actually the most... You've, you've got plus 10 accuracy, but you're literally the most worthless team member in existence right now. You've missed every opportunity to hit something. You really need to work on your accuracy, dude. You're, you're, you're letting the side down. You really are letting the team down right now. Okay, quest location's there. We do have one battle remaining. Now that our stress is so high, I actually don't want to fight the thing from the stars, but the fact that I don't essentially guarantees that that will be the thing from the stars. Considering we haven't seen him in so, so long. In fact, it's the last battle available in, in a hallway. So, yeah. It's not, but it is awful. At least we got the surprise here, but this is real bad, so... This is a really hard fight. Really hard fight. I'm going to hit you just because I think that takes away a turn. You did you did technically a hit for one damage. Yeah, I think that loses both of our turns. I, I bloody well hope. This, this... In Persian Golem, we fought one of these before and it was devastating. It was devastating. We gotta be very careful. We have good healing, which is good, but I'm still very, very wary of this. Nice. I'm just absolutely. I was gonna say railing this woman. Don't say that. Uh, like, going as hard as I can in attack on this uh, statue because she needs to go. We cannot get hit by that thing. It does insane damage. Uh, right. Do you know what? I'm just going to keep buffing die so you can absolutely pummel the hell out of certain enemies. <sighs> Adaption. He's going into the attack mode. That's huge. That's absolutely huge. That's going to hurt. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. As long as we keep hitting this thing, I don't care if it doesn't stun. I just don't want it to have an action. Right, we need some healing in here. Mega healing for the group. Defensive stance. Got damage reflection on this thing now. No, we don't. Good. That's going to stun us. Yep. Die is taking a hit. Okay, that thing's dead. Good. Oh, my God. That's dead as well. Okay. A, a possible, possible, very, very difficult fight. We actually handled quite gracefully there. Everyone did their job exactly as they should. You did pass your turn there. That's fine. Yeah, everyone did their job exactly as they should. We can't complain. That's a big hit, though. I always forget how much these guys can crit for. It's a lot. Spoiler. It's a lot. You need to get out of the way, body. Right. I'm just going to stun this guy for now. Stop him from doing stuff while we can heal up a bit. I'm actually grateful that didn't crit then. 
Can I have a turn with my healer, please? Thank you. <sighs> nice. That was a scary fight. That was a really scary fight. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious. I don't need to remind myself. I remind myself daily by crapping myself every time I go out into a dungeon. <laughs> My god. Glittering gold. Trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. Paid for in blood. Ah, yes. Room battle. Wasn't expecting that for some reason. Definitely doing that. <laughs> no doubt about that. We haven't really been getting the crits we need, or even really the damage we need. I'm just going to go for the kill. I want one of those dead as soon as possible. Oh, this has been stressful. The spear thrust guys have been in full force this time around as well. And they they can crit like a motherfucker. I'm going to pull you forward. Get over here. Even stunned him as well. Great. Probably can kill him in one hit with Dai now. That's exactly the plan. Definitely can kill him in one hit now that he has one HP. In fact, why even do that? Let's get Dai to pull this guy all the way to the front. There's the crits. There's the crits. Ow, 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 ow. Your mum's a pig. Get over here. 38 crit. Awesome. Nice. That went, that went well. That was a little scary, but that went well. Altars have been purified. We've pushed forward. We've leveled up a few people that needed it. In fact, we haven't. <laughs> we didn't level up anyone then. Great. Oh my god, great. Not 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 what I was expecting, but hey her. Uh let's have a look at those guys' stresses and we might need to put uh shuffling dead or silenced. Right. We might need to put some of you in for some stress healing. Kira, you can pray. Everyone else will be fine. We've got good money right now, let's check the stage coach again. Um we do have a new butcher, but it's only level two. We really need to bring in some high level people. Uh, another Mender pit fighter. Uh, don't need any of those right now. Check the shop real quick. See if there's anything new. Pit fighter. Extra damage one below. Whoa. That's actually pretty good. So if we keep him below half HP, we get insane damage buffs. Immune to death by Crimson Curse. Interesting. I imagine that's pretty good. We can buy the next time, though. Okay, so we got a new focus ring, so I'm very happy about that. Right, let's have a look. So we got Black Card, got that thing again. Running. Let's definitely take the new focus ring. I'm going to take the hero's ring as well, because that seems awesome. And then we've got the Houndmaster only. Damage. Yeah, the hero ring sounds really good. That's going to be some insane virtues. And then I just want to check on this as well and make sure there's nothing here that we desperately, desperately want. I would like to save up my money, to be honest, but there's some things in here that, that are too tempting to, t to not take. Um, healing received, bleed and blight resist. Pretty good. Domination, antiquarian. We're looking for specific classes, really. Uh, occultist, leper. Yeah, not really any of the classes that we want right now. Either way, that's that's a good haul. That's a good haul of stuff. Hope you guys did enjoy this episode. We've got some good stuff going on here. We're starting to build up money, getting people leveled up, and we're getting near to being ready for some of the next bosses as soon as we get some more people to level five. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.